uh, not likely to get a lot of support from Republicans. Congress is not in session right now, so this bill not likely to get any kind of serious consideration. But the Democratic proposal, with the election fast approaching, focusing an unflattering light on the president, Democrats proposing a bill that would create a special commission, a commission made up of former high-ranking government officials and medical experts to examine the president's mental and physical fitness to serve. The 25th Amendment creates a path for preserving stability if a president suffers a crippling physical or mental problem and is, un quote, in the amendment, unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office. What happens if a president, any president, ends up in a coma or on a ventilator and has made no provisions for the temporary transfer of power under Section 3? Who has the powers of the presidency at that point? Is it the chief of staff? Is it the vice president? Is it the secretary of state? U.S. Representative Jamie Raskin, a former constitutional law professor at American University, and the Democratic Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, introducing the new bill, a bill that's unlikely to garner Republican support, but it's certainly getting the attention of President Donald Trump, who tweeted, quote, Crazy Nancy is the one who should be under observation. They don't call her crazy for nothing. But Democrats say it's the president who's exhibiting worrisome behavior, pointing to medications he appears to be receiving, and what critics say has been a pattern of erratic actions, as evidenced most recently, they say, by Trump's explosive interview yesterday on Fox Business, where he referred to Democratic vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris as a monster. And this monster that was on stage with uh, Mike Pence, who destroyed her last night, by the way, Congress, through concurrent votes in the House and the Senate, could direct the commission to conduct a medical exam of the president. Pelosi arguing that it's Congress's sacred duty to protect the Constitution and America's democracy. The 25th Amendment passed by Congress and ratified by the states in the aftermath of the Kennedy assassination. It provides a framework, experts say, for replacing a president in the event of death, removal, resignation, or incapacitation. But critics say it also requires action by the vice president and the cabinet. Pelosi and others say Congress needs a mechanism to intervene. The proposed Blue Ribbon 16-member commission with one chairman able to take urgent action, she says, if the country finds itself on the verge of chaos. The 25th Amendment is designed to guarantee the continuing peaceful transfer of power. According to published reports, Donald Trump will do an on-camera interview later today with a doctor. He says to prove that he's fully recovered from COVID-19, the doctor conducting the interview said to be Dr. Mark Siegel, who has drawn criticism in the past for attacking the use of masks and comparing coronavirus to the common flu. Julie, Dina. Thanks, Julian.